Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Spyro Season of Ice for the Nintendo Game Boy Advance, and this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, well I'm no stranger to the uh, Spyro series by any stretch of the imagination. And outside of that uh, combo pack with uh, Crash Bandicoot, I think it was called Spyro Orange, never really did many uh, Spyro games for the GBA. I've done the PS1 trilogy, so now it's time to touch into the GBA trilogy. There was this game, and there was Spyro 2 Season of Fire, and I think Attack of the Rhinox was the third one, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, we'll deal with that as we uh, get further. Let's get started. Alright, I'm going to take a look at the options. Uh, yeah, apparently Dragonfly X is another thing. Maybe I have to beat the game first. So why don't we get started here? Delete existing game? Yes. Delete. Delete. <laughs> well, I hope to God Spyro's tail does not get sunburned. Hey, Spyro! I think I see a flying sheep saucer heading straight for us! Let's get out of here before it abducts, uh, abducts us! That's not a flying sheep saucer, Hunter! It's just a balloon! Look! There's a note here from Zoe! It says, Dear Spyro, I'm using every last drop of my magic to send you this message. You know, you probably could have made it a little bit easier if you didn't have that intro. Someone has cast a powerful spell over the fairy world, freezing fairies and ice crystals, and we can't get out! Now, the Rhinox are back and collecting fairies one by one. I wish I knew what you were, what they were up to. Please come back before it's too late. This is terrible. We have to go help Zoe. And all the fairies. While you go see what's happening in the fairy world, I'll check the sorcerer's spell book for something we can use to find out who's behind all this. You know, Bianca, I haven't seen you carrying the spell book in a few days. What do you mean? I never let it out of my sight. It's right in front of my bag. Or right in my bag. Oh no! My spell book! Where is it? I must have left it at the library when I was picking up that travel book for our Dragon Shores vacation. I gotta go find it. Bianca, while you find your spell book, Hunter, Sparks, and I will go find those fairies. Sparrow does not believe in the Oxford comma, apparently. Okay, see you soon. Alright, so what we have here is a diagonal isometric view for the game. If you press select, you go straight into your progress. Apparently, we're in the Autumn Fairy Home. And there's a whole bunch of stages over here, each with their own fairies we have to find, as well as gems. Okay, so if you hit left, you go to your total. So I got six out of 7,000 gems. So I'm almost there, <laughs> pretty much. Press B, get out of there. Hold R to dash. L, I believe, does nothing. Actually, if you hold L, you're actually moving the camera. Okay, I didn't know that. Double tap A to glide. Okay, B is just a flamethrower. Okay, so apparently, like, pressing L in midair does nothing. If you just press pause, you go to your atlas. Which I assume is what you get into when you press select anyway. Alright. So obviously we have no fairies. I think that's one right there. And you use your flame breath to get it out. Hi there, Spyro! You'll never guess what I heard just before I got frozen in that crystal! The Rhinox are back! Those smelly Rhinox seem to be all over the fairy worlds! Wow, you didn't really have to insult their... their scent. I mean, you were frozen solid for a while. How would you know what they smelled like? Okay, dragonflies over there will give you more health, I believe. Or I think they might give you a straight up extra life. So I'll definitely try my best to find all the gems that I can. And sometimes you'll find, like, certain things that you have to activate all of to find a fairy, I believe. In this case, in this level, there are jack-o'-lanterns. We can go to an actual stage called Lava Prairie right now. 
But I want to explore all of this place first. So why don't we go do that? And I think if I exit the level, I'll have to relight all the jack-o'-lanterns again, so I don't want to do that. Let's just, let's just take care of all of this first. Like, accomplish as much as we can in the overworld, and take it from there. The sheep, by the way, if you torch them, they'll give you dragonflies that give, or butterflies rather, that give Sparks health. Spyro! I think I see something sparkling over on that far hill! You'll have to glide to get across to it! Press the A button to jump, then press the A, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I know how to glide. Okay, I guess he went over there. Now, one thing I'm not a fan of, it's kind of hard to gauge the elevation of where you're gliding to. Spyro! If you need to look far into the distance, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I am not going to explain all the dialogue for any directions that I've already explained to you. Red gems are worth one, green gems are worth two, purple gems are five, yellow ones are worth ten. And I think there's a uh, magenta or fuchsia ones as well. Okay, these pots you have to dash into. Oh yeah, the fuchsia ones, they're worth twenty-five, and of course they're obviously the rarest. So, be on the lookout for those if you can get them. Hey. Okay, Spyro. I know you're ready for this. To reach that hill, you can get there by hovering. To hover, press the A button at the end of your glide. Alright. Well, it's nice of him to actually show me where I need to go. But let me take care of the rest of this stuff on this hill first. Don't fall into the water, by the way, because that will hurt you. And sometimes if you get to a spot that you can't really land, Sparks will do that for you, and I missed. So now I have to work my way around again. Oh yeah, money bags in this game as well. So you have to give him gems for him to give you access to other places. Thank you, Spyro. I'm not sure what happened, but I was flying over to meet Gabriel, and suddenly I was frozen in that chili crystal. Okay, so sometimes they'll just give you flavor text. That's okay, too. How did you get over here? Yo, Spyro! I have a feeling that charging is gonna come in handy in this rescue mission. Might want to practice it a bit. Charging a sheep. Oh god, they make so much noise when they're running. Okay, so let's try our best to get all the gems. I believe it's gonna be harder to get all the gems in the GBA games than it is in like the PlayStation games. Because you don't really get much of a view. Alright, I think some levels you can't open unless you, um... I think it says you gotta re rescue certain fairies. Okay, for that one you need 14. And I think that's one of the race levels? I was never a fan of those, actually. The speedway stages. Back in the other Spyro games, but... They're in this game. I'm gonna have to learn to suck it up somehow. I was more of an action kind of guy rather than a race kind of guy. But then again, I do enjoy Mario Kart, but that's different. Hopefully I don't miss too many things. The portal is broken, Spyro. You'll need to rescue more fairies through their magic and help me with a spell to repair the portal. How many fairies do I need for this one? 20. Okay, so that leads to the next hub. I think the hubs are named after seasons, if I recall. Because we're in Autumn Fairy Home right now. And the next one is Winter. Alright, how many gems are in this hub again? Let me check. 300, alright. And there's two more fairies, so we're making good time. try to get over on that hilltop that I missed. I'll probably keep it to like maybe one area per episode, depending on how long the areas are. And you know, if I only upload maybe like a 10 minute video, count your blessings, 
because sometimes the videos could reach up to, well, maybe 30 minutes. So if you see like a, a 15 minute video, try not to worry about it too much. I'll tend to make up for it in the later worlds. Oh, I didn't even get that one. Can't leave behind a single one, especially since Sparks is not gonna find them for me. It was getting awfully frosty in that crystal. Thanks for saving me. You need to get some help because your skin's all yellow. You're either gonna get jaundice or you can become a Simpson. Take your pick. <laughs> Is that the hilltop I was trying to reach? Okay, why can't I jump over there? Looks like I should be able to. Oh, made that jump. Was I already here? Okay, I think I had to... Oh, I can't go that way. So particular, really. Because technically it's out of bounds. Oh, I didn't really need to hover to get there. Good job, Spyro. We've got a lot of fairies to rescue. And we just rescued all of them in this part. Don't worry about falling in the fairy world, Spyro. If you fall in the fairy world, our magic will rescue you. I guess that's her way of saying that if you fall elsewhere... You're not gonna get saved. Spyro, my, f my, funny seeing you again. It must be fate. Well, it seems haiku poets aren't as profitable as I had heard. So I came here and struck up a deal with the Rhinox. Getting paid a fortune by a very large Rhinox to keep this insect infected level restricted from dragons. Come to think of it, he never did mention anything about dragonflies. I suppose letting a dragonfly through wouldn't cause any harm now, would it? Especially if you were to pay me, say, a small fee. I don't have 400 gems, so, uh... Oh, jeez. The scream of tiny fairies. That's getting a little morbid. Alright, so let me go look for the remaining gems. Hopefully they're around this way. So I'm definitely gonna have to comb this area through and through to find the remaining, what, 46? Is it 46? Let me check. Yeah, it is 46. All right. Now, where would I find them? I'm pretty much combing around. Whoa. For some reason, I held L and it did nothing. Now, why are you telling me this again? You already saw me charge into some of those sheep. Okay, it doesn't look like I went this way. Oh, yeah, I did go this way. All right. Doesn't seem like you go that much faster when you charge. Oh, there's one. Oh, okay, I I'm picking up a trail. Okay, this is not a bad haul. Wow, there's a lot of them in this one area. If you go around the perimeter, then there's just the middle left. And that's where you pretty much get the biggest pile. I like that. Mermaid Coast. I think I can go to that one right now. Because as you can see, it's a bit staticky. That tells you that you can go to that stage now. around here. Yeah, it's gonna be mostly reds, I can tell. That's gonna make it even harder to get them all if they're just the tiny um, distributions remaining. I wish there was like a mini-map that could tell you where certain ones are. Wait, how many fairies do I need for market, Renisa? Twelve. Alright. Well, at least it narrows down what stages I can go to next. Oh, I can't even just glide across? Who knows, I could have made that. I can go to Lava Prairie, too. 
question is, do I want to right now? I can also go to Mermaid Coast. So there's two stages I can go to right now. Because I've collected enough. Oh, this is going to be frustrating from that, I can tell. Okay, it looks like I can just stay on this water because it's shallow. I mean, I can't really picture that kind of water hurting me. Because that would be a bit ridiculous if it could. Given how shallow it is. It's more shallow than hell. <laughs> I've only seen some of shallow hell. I mean, it's alright if that's your genre of movie. I mean, I find that, like, um, if you're into Jack Black, you'll probably like that movie. Otherwise, if you like the genre, but you don't care for Jack Black, then, uh, you're not going to enjoy that movie. At least I think it's Jack Black in Shallow Hell. It's like, he has a distinct style of humor. He's like Adam Sandler, but gruffier. If I could, like, describe it perfectly. Oh, wait, I haven't even gone down this way. Ah, here we go. There's 300. I'm not talking about that movie, but the Spartans. You know, when they took on the English. <laughs> As you can tell, I don't always take myself seriously. <laughs> You know, just before you start getting your, uh, trigger fingers ready, it's like, uh, uh, it's the Persians. <laughs> I know. Um, what level I'm gonna go to first? Sorry about that, fairy. What well, should be the first victim? Ah, uh, Lava Prairie. You know what, I think this is a good time to, uh, end the episode, because, well... It's been almost 20 minutes, and I'm pretty sure the stages will be around that long. So in the next episode, we're going to Lava Prairie first. Goodbye, everyone.